Our team coverage of the storm damage continues right now with with all the damage from last night. Is there really anything homeowners can do to maybe protect themselves before another storm? Yeah, a lot of people have those questions. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan got some insight from the experts in South Windsor. The only thing I could have prevented it would maybe possibly and I strongly say possibly trimming. Uh, having somebody come out and assess the trees, looking at proper structure. Is there ways to do reductions? Is there cabling? Tree expert Josh Wamsley tells me the rot on the top of a wide joint in this oak tree contributed to the tree's failure in a twisting storm. A storm neighbors recorded, dumping a river of rainfall saturating the soil. We could see the flooding that was taking place down Garnet Lane because that was the other concern. We had a lot of um, flooding coming in from behind us. And in the backyard, the heavy rain weakened the root system of this tree that was toppled in the storm, narrowly missing the house. But our tree expert, Josh, discovered something else going on here that weakened the tree structure. With the blowover, we actually had what's called white rot. So white rot is a fungus. You can see the whiteness within the piece and it deteriorates the root system. Very commonly found in oak trees. When you open them up, that's when you end up with that sponginess inside where you can squish. So with heavy rain, heavy saturation of soil, loosening everything up, it was just enough to let this tree go. Kevin Hogan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.